Did you know that a stegosaur once used to roam South Africa? That's right, the herbivorous dinosaurs with plates and spikes on their backs and tails, including things like Kentosaurus and Stegosaurus, once had a member roaming Southern Africa. This is Paranthodon africanus. Discovered in what is today Eastern Cape in 1845, it was one of the first stegosaurs we've ever discovered. Granted, it took a few decades after discovery for someone to actually find out that the holotype consisted of two species, a prairiesaur named Anthodon and the actual dinosaur, which was only identified as a proper stegosaur several years later before being named Paranthodon. Paleontology was a new budding field back then, we, we can't be too judgmental. If you google Paranthodon, you see a whole bunch of fun recreations with plates and spikes, but in reality, the only fossils we have of this animal is a partial skull, some isolated teeth and fragmentary vertebra. So we don't actually know what his body would have looked like, though it likely did still have the characteristic plates and spikes of stegosaurs. Fun fact, the spikes on the tail of a stegosaur is known as a thagomizer, which was actually coined in a newspaper comic. That's right, the scientific name for these spikes was memed into existence. Granted, while we don't have a lot of fossil evidence for this dinosaur, these fragments are still enough for us to approximate its size, with some estimates putting it at 5 meters long and weighing anywhere between 450 to 900 kilograms. In 2011, some fossilized teeth from the late Jurassic in Ethiopia were actually attributed to Paranthodon, which, if accurate, would mean that this dinosaur had a big range going all the way from East Africa to Southern Africa. And if you enjoyed this kind of content, maybe give us a follow.